For some, it's a wild party. But for these guys, it's big business. Taking off their clothes, engaging in various sexual acts. Catching it on tape, selling it for big bucks. But the feds and the partiers want them stopped. Fox Undercover investigates skin, sin, and videotape. Tonight on Fox 11 News at 10. You're watching John Beard, Christine Devine, Mark Thompson Weather, Lisa Joyner with Entertainment, and Rick Garcia Sports. Fox 11 News at 10. Video cameras are everywhere, but now the feds are cracking down and even confiscating cameras. Americans are going camera crazy. Amateur paparazzi are at all the young party scenes, zooming in on everything, especially nudity. Some young entrepreneurs are trying to turn a buck on the phenomenon. In this Fox Undercover report, Linda Joyce explains why they're in trouble with the federal government. She is a convention showstopper, and the cameras are rolling. But have you noticed? Those little camcorders are everywhere, seeing everything. You find them on the boulevard or strapped to a biker, even at a Vegas porn festival. And out at Lake Havasu. It's this Arizona lake that's become a battleground between some of the people who use those camcorders and the lake's owner, the federal government. They perceive us as selling sex. That's the way Vince Roca and three friends now view Uncle Sam. The four young men made a business out of shooting and selling sexy Lake Havasu videos over the internet. It's a great business. This past July 4th at Havasu, federal fish and wildlife agents made it their business citing the camera quartet for not having a permit. Uh, well, they cited us for uh, soliciting or conducting a commercial enterprise on a national wildlife refuge. And there's more. The feds confiscated their cameras. They seized over $10,000 worth of photographic equipment, just page after page after page of items that were seized. Uh, they had no right to take our stuff. Fish and Wildlife told us agents were just enforcing the law that while the government doesn't ban the lake's bare all displays, it does draw the line on unlicensed commercial exploitation. On this past July 4th, the four had no permit, so they wound up with no cameras. It's ironic that your First uh, Amendment rights were violated on Independence Day. <laughs> These videographers, now without cameras, are taking their grudge against the government to the airwaves. These guys have their equipment taken away by the federal government because it's on federal property. This is ridiculous. Go ahead, Mark. That really upsets me that these guys are persecuted that way. But another caller says the government could have a point. There is one company in particular, not you guys, that brings in porno stars and kind of stages little extravaganzas on their houseboat. What's going on out there is going to happen whether you're a star or not. I mean, there's 19-year-old there's college, co uh, college girls starting college that are doing it that aren't porn stars. But for attorney Jeffrey Douglas, that's not the point. Seizing the cameras is. Taking a camera is like seizing a printing press. It is a fundamental violation and absolutely indefensible. Douglas was already familiar with the issue, really defending another group of photographers called GM Productions. They also tape the action at Havasu and sell it, not only on their website, but in adult video stores. We had no trouble finding their tapes in the first shop we checked. Thank you. Thank you. Federal officials won't talk about all this on camera, but did tell us commercial coverage of the Havasu hijinks just does not fit with the lake's role as a wildlife habitat. Hey. Hi. You believe I, this? No, I can't. I don't think there's anything wrong with what they're doing, you know. And I don't think they have a right to take any of their equipment either. Vince, his friends, and his lawyer are battling to get their seized cameras back. If not, they vow to buy more gear and head right back to the lake and back to the business of putting it all on tape. I'm Linda Joyce, Fox 11 News. Tonight at 10, turning a wild party into big business. Skin, sin, and videotape at 10. It's a wild party these guys turned into big business. Fox Undercover investigates skin, sin, and videotape. Coming up on Fox 11 News. Tonight at 10, turning a wild party into big business. Skin, sin, and videotape at 10.